Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about computer registers in computer architecture or a computer organization and architecture. So it is one of the basic concepts that we have to know compulsory about computer registers concept. In general, a program is a set of instructions. These instructions are stored in the memory at a particular address by using a format called instruction format. This is the instruction format we have to use for storing the instructions in memory. This is a 16-bit instruction format. So 0 to 15, this instruction format can be divided into three parts. The first part is called as address part. Second part is called as opcode part. Third part is called as mode part. Okay. First one is opcode part. Opcode part specifies what is the operation to be performed. Okay, to perform the operation specified in the opcode part, we require operands. These operands are stored in the memory or a registers at a particular address. These addresses are specified in the address part of the instruction. The address part of the instruction contains 12 bits 0 to 11. Okay. Once we are uh, fetching the operands by using a direct address and or indirect address that is specified in the mode field, we are performing the operation specified in the opcode part. Okay. Here the mode bit can be denoted by i. If i value is equal to 0, it is a direct address. If i value is equal to 1, it specifies indirect address. By using the direct address or our indirect address specified in the mode field, we are fetching the operands from the memory or our register. We are specifying specified operation is to be performed. The opcode field contains 3 bits 12 to 14. Okay. The mode field contains only 1 bit that is either 0 or 1. If it is 0, it is a direct address. If it, if it is this bit is equal to 1, it is a indirect address. Based on the direct or the indirect address, we are fetching the operands from the memory or a register. Then we are performing the operation specified in the opcode field of the instruction. Next one is uh, in addition to the computer memory, there are eight registers are used for processing the data that are stored in the memory. So this is the memory unit. And these are the eight general purpose registers. Okay. The memory unit has a capacity of 4096 into 16. That means the memory unit contains 4096 words. Each word contains how many number of bits? That is 16 bits. Okay. So this is the capacity of the memory unit. The computer instructions are stored in the memory. Okay. Next one. The memory each and every word has a particular address. To specify that address, we have to use 12-bit address. So by using this first 12-bit uh, address, we are specifying each and every address of the memory word. Okay. Next one, so these are the eight general purpose registers uh, we are using for 
data processing okay the first register is called as program counter pc stands for program counter program counter contains the address of the next instruction fetched from the memory okay it always points to the address of the next instruction that is to be fetched from the computer memory okay so it contains 12 bits it is denoted by pc okay next one is address register it is denoted by ar it contains 12 bits so the address register contains the address of the instruction that are stored in the memory next address next register is data register so it can be denoted by dr it contains 16 bits data register holds the operand that are read from the memory to perform the operation we require operands these operands are stored in the memory okay so the data register holds the operands that are read from the memory to perform the operation okay so these operands are stored in the memory in the date operand data part of the memory unit so the length of the operand is 16 bits so that the data register contains 16 bits next one is ir that is instruction register so it can be denoted by ir so it contains 16 bit the instruction register holds the currently executing instruction that are read from the memory next one is a temporary register it is denoted by tr it contains 16 bits the temporary register is used for holding the temporary data during processing if any intermediate result is occurred during the execution of the instruction that uh, that intermediate result is stored in the temporary register okay for that purpose we have to use temporary register next one is accumulator so accumulator register is also called as processor register so this register is used for processing the data so it can also be called as processor register it contains 16 bits it can be denoted by ac accumulator next one these two registers are used for input and output okay so this is input register and this is output register input register contains 8 bits output register contains 8 bits this input register is used for receiving the input character from the input devices okay whatever the character that is read from the input devices that uh, character is received that character is received from the input devices by the input register next one is output register this output register this output register holds the character read from the output devices okay so whatever the uh, character that is received by the output devices so okay to hold that character we are using a register called as output registers okay these two registers are used for input and output so both are containing 8 bits okay this register is called as a processor register it is used for processing the data during the processing of data any any operand is required sometimes the operands are stored in the accumulator it contains uh, 50, 16 bits that is 0 to 15 so hence it can be called as a processor register okay during the execution of the instruction 
okay sometimes the operand is stored in the accumulator sometimes if any intermediate result is also occur that result is also stored in the accumulator after performing the operation whatever the result we are getting that result is also stored in the accumulator okay next one is temporary register this register is used for storing the temporary data okay we are storing the data temporarily for that purpose we are using temporary register it contains 16 bits next one is instruction register this register is used for holding the instruction that is to be currently executed it contains 16 bits next one is data register so this register is used for holding the operand that is read from the memory it contains 16 bits it can be denoted by dr next one is address register this register is used for storing the address of the instruction that are read from the memory it contains 12 bits so here this is the address of the operand and address of the instruction is also 12 bits okay the program counter is one of the important uh, register that resides in the cpu so program counter always contains the address of the next instruction that is to be fetched from the memory instructions are executed in a sequential manner so at that time pc always points to the address of the next instruction that is to be fetched from the memory so these eight registers are cpu registers so these registers are resides within the cpu okay so register accessing is much more faster than main memory accessing because all the registers are precise within the cpu the distance between the registers and the distance between the registers and anu is very less the time taken to transfer the data from the register to anu is very less when compared to accessing the data from the memory so that register accessing is much more faster than main memory accessing so registers are temporary storage devices so these are made up of flip-flops these flip-flops are interconnected uh, so that we are storing only uh, so that we are storing the information within the register a flip-flop is a, a temporary storage device that is used for storing only one bit of information so registers are made up of flip-flops okay suppose 8 bit register is there 8 flip-flops are interconnected each and every flip-flop can store only one bit of information so 8 bit register is nothing but 8 flip-flops are interconnected so that uh, each flip-flop can store only one bit of information so that 8 flip-flops 8 bits uh, 8 bits have to be stored in 8 bit register suppose it is a 16 bit register it can hold uh, 16 bits information so for uh, storing each and every bit we have to use one flip flop so 16 flip flops are interconnected so then we we have to make a 16 bit register it can store 16 bit okay in the same way 32 bit register it contains 32 flip flops each flip flop can store only one bit of information so 32 bit register is nothing but 32 flip flops are there each flip flop can store one bit of information so this is the uh, description about the computer registers whatever i am discussing here so that can be represented within a table so this table is list of registers for basic computer so if any computer we are taken okay so that computer contains these eight registers okay these eight registers can be represented in a graphical manner and this is the memory unit
and this is the instruction format okay so this is the description about the computer registers and each and every register contains how many bits and each and every register can be represented in a graphical manner and what is the function of each and every uh, register uh, what is the instruction format we have to use for storing the instructions so these are the points that we are discussed in the in this video in the next video how these registers can be used in a common bus system that we are discussed in the next video so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel name so the bella srinivasrao please share your comment on this video thank you